Hi traders, these are my main candidates for the day, Tesla, Boeing, ZM and NKLA. Uh, most of them starting with a gap down today other than ZM. ZM, I had a losing trade in ZM yesterday and I'm going to talk about it later. But right now, Tesla seems to be topping here. Look at this, several topic tails that you're seeing here. If it's going to come down under 417, I would like to short it. And it is getting closed now. Short, 8,000 shares. Uh, it's a relatively small stop loss. I've got more uh, than normal quantity because I've got only a two point stop loss. Now following the rest also. Okay, so ZM also lots of topping tails. And I do like ZM very much for short. I'll talk about it later. But seems like I'm about to short it at a sign of a reversal. Now I'm short 4,000 shares against top over the highs 486.50 and I will add if it's going to come down under 484. If it does move under 484 that would be like a proof that it wants to continue lower. That's why I take a big risk. My first initial entry point is a three point stop loss. No big deal with ZM. Here comes ZM. About to add. Now added, it just moved under 484 and this should be the breakdown. This should be the breakdown. I'm up 9 grand, 13 grand. Come on ZM, let's make the move here. Let's make the move here. 10 grand, 14 grand, <laughs> going. Tesla, Tesla is looking much, much better. And now Boeing, what should be A here? I would like to short it under 163.60 which is now I'm short 8,000 shares I got it at 163.50 so if you take a look at the airlines the airlines are coming down now so should Boeing uh, actually some of the airlines you see here Delta airline is already under the law so Boeing should follow look at ZM look at ZM $31,000 I'm getting ready for a partial at any sign for pullback I'm going to cover 7,400 shares, watching the buyers, watching the sellers. Watch the sellers here, 481.90. If I'm going to see a sign of a pullback, I'm going to click the button and cover 7,400 shares out of my 8,000 shares, watching the chart, but mainly watching the sellers. As you can see now, the sellers, oh, oh, look at this breakdown, $62,000. <laughs> That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Watch the sellers here, 477. If they're going to move higher, 478. They're moving higher. I should take my partial, took my partial now. What a trade in ZM. That was absolutely magnificent. And here comes Tesla. I'm up over three points now and going $25,000. Oh, that's amazing. About to take my partial in Tesla. Now, click the button. I've got my partial in Tesla. That's my second uh, green trade for the day. Now, the only one that is left is Boeing. But look at Tesla again. Remember these topping tails here. Just the way it behaved initially, the way it moved higher, failed. And look at Boeing just moved under the lows. And I'm also getting ready for a partial here because I think it's a bit extended to the downside. I'm about to click the button. And now. Well, three trades. Boeing's the last one. Three consecutive green trades. <laughs> I think I've done enough for the day. And look at my results here, over $70,000. And just 15 minutes into the trading session. You know, traders, I've got a rule. After three losing trades, I'm leaving my desk. After three winning trades, I should do the same. Well, today I'm doing the same. But I do owe you a little bit more explanation about ZM. So let's listen to my trading recap today. Uh, traders, um, 15 minutes into the trading session and I'm done trading for the day. That's it for me. I'm not going to keep risking my account today with uh, three green trades. You know how many green trades you can have in a row. Maybe more, but I'm not going to continue. As you can see here, I have a huge winner in ZM. That's my best trade today and the only one I want to discuss before I go. I've got also a big winner in Tesla, a smaller winner in Boeing, but they're still riding. I'm still riding... Uh, 
a few thousand dollars actually in my open trades. So just over $70,000 in 15 minutes and that's a perfect day for me. Now just a quick uh, discussion regarding ZM before I go. ZM was a trade that I got prepared to yesterday. When I was trading ZM yesterday and I had a red day yesterday, not a huge red day but I did have a red day yesterday, I took ZM long. Look at the intraday of ZM, 5 minute candles yesterday. It looked great. It was supposed to be a winner. It was a loser. And the market was up and ZM was moving higher strongly. But whatever reason, ZM failed. Now I kept watching ZM. Now look at what happened during the session yesterday. I saw it when it came down and closed the gap and I was wondering whether it just came down to close the gap and it's going to move higher. But no, look at the pressure ZM was under. Now also take a look at what happened at the end of the day. You see it finished quite low. So, I mean it finished very close to the lows here. That means that ZM was under a lot of pressure. Then I took a look at the daily. Well, you don't see much on the daily, but you take a look at what happened yesterday and you see the topping tail here. And you can, of course, see that uh, ZM is very extended and therefore some profit taking is probably going on here. So ZM is extended, some profit taking, a nice reversal on the daily. That's the red candle you're seeing here with the topping tail, trying to move higher, failing, which is a very strong reversal uh, opportunity here. So ZM was on my watch list today, definitely looking for a short. You heard me say that from minute one. And then it tried to move higher, which was great. Then posted it for a short. We should better take a look at the one minute charts here because it was a little bit, uh, it was a bit more clear in the one minute chart. So look at this, the, the way ZM tried. Initially moved down, failed to move higher took it right here for a short, added very close to the lows, just above the low. You always want to add at the point where it's bef before it's breaking down under the lows, but at the point of, let's call it no return. And that was the time where I doubled my risk because I had a very good feeling regarding what happened really yesterday. So the preparation started yesterday. Watching the stock, there's no better way of understanding a stock than actually losing in a stock. So I had a losing trade yesterday in ZM. That's why I probably understood it a little bit more. You know, sometimes you just watch a chart, but you don't really know what's going on until you really put in your money inside. If you're not really playing with your money, you don't really understand the stock. And believe me, I understood ZM very, very well yesterday because I had a losing trade in ZM. So I was waiting for an opportunity today. I got a very technical opportunity today. Was watching the daily, was watching the intraday today and yesterday. Made up my mind and that's the reason why it's my biggest winner. I mean the rest are quite uh, clear. Same idea in Tesla started with a gap down, moved up, then came down. I mean it's not the same idea. It's not the same trade of course. And of course Boeing watching the um, airlines moving uh, um, I mean, starting with the gap down, trying to move higher, failing. I was watching Delta Airlines, for example, which came down under the lows at the time where Boeing was uh, at the time where Boeing was still rather close to the high. So at that point here, taking Boeing short when Delta Airlines was already under the lows, that was the trigger for me to take Boeing, expecting it also to follow the airlines and come down under the lows. And of course, the last trade I had uh, today uh, is Tesla. The interesting thing about uh, Tesla is uh, the way that uh, it tried to move higher and failed. That's something you need to remember. A stock that is starting with a gap down, initially moving down. And um, the thing is, you know, again, here's the opening price and then the topping tails and then the move down. Now, again, take a look at the topping tails here. They are the answer to what happened next to Tesla. It has rejected the move upside several times. I can count several topping tails here, one, two, three, four, five, maybe more. And then after the topping tails, you've got, uh, you have a really clear reversal. I mean, that's a very standard technical reversal. And then Tesla just continued uh, moving lower. So that's a classical gap and go. However, tried to move higher and failed. So quite a straightforward day for me today. But three green trades, 70 something thousand dollars in 15 minutes. I'm done for the day. And I'll see you all tomorrow.
just take care, be careful. And if you're on uh, YouTube, give us a thumb up. That will be appreciated. Thank you all and see you all tomorrow. Bye, Twiz. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.